This is a highly finished book of hours from the French Renaissance. Its miniatures are by John of Tours, an artist who worked with Jean Poyer, a follower of Fouquet. The book is bound in a modern binding of blue velvet. Most books of ours were rebound many, many times from their origin as successive owners put their own individualized covers on them. It was used by people every day, so understandably, it opens with a calendar. Here you see a saint for every day of the week and every month of the year. The ones in red are special saints, red letter days. That's where our phrase comes from. After the calendar, there are the gospel sequences. These are readings, very short readings from the Bible, each introduced by one of the evangelists. Here you see John on the island of Patmos. After comes the core of a book of hours, the hours of the Virgin. It is introduced by a scene of the Annunciation. Gabriel, the angel, comes and tells the Virgin Mary that she will have a child. After this section of the book comes a much shorter hours called the hours or prayers on the cross. You have a crucifixion with Mary Magdalene and John on either side in a landscape that extends into the background. The next large section of a book of hours is the office of the dead. An owner would take this book with him to funerals, to other everyday events. And at funerals, he would recite the readings from the office of the dead because the text comes from the Old Testament book of Job. Job appears here with his three rich friends scorning him. This is where the artist, John of Tours, has signed the miniature on the collar of the man in the center. After the Office of the Dead is another important section. The section is the seven penitential psalms. In this section, the owner identifies with David, who committed many sins. One of David's main sins, adultery with Bathsheba, is alluded to here. As the nude Bathsheba sits in a fountain, David peering at her from the background. Often books of ours end with what are called suffrages. These are prayers, prayers to individual saints. So you would ask an artist to include your favorite saint. In this case, on the left, you see Saint Margaret, who is the patron saint of childbirth. Books were often dowry presents, marriage presents, and you wanted to have a child if you were the female owner of the book, you could pray to Margaret. On the right, just in case you had teeth problem and a dentist wasn't handy, you would pray to Saint Apollonia, shown here with the pincers that took out her teeth. She's the patron saint of bad teeth. This is a rare treasure from the Middle Ages because it is signed by its artist and it's an extremely luxurious example of the art of the Book of Hours.